Greetings, hi, the War Al greets you, and I'm going to be showing you here once again another 5 vs. 5 Counter-Strike Global Offensive match. And this one is going to be between Titan and the Ninjas in pajamas. There is a lot of history here. The Titan lineup is drastically different than it used to be back in the days when these two teams were rivals. They are not rivals anymore. We have Ninjas in pajamas being considerably less consistent in their performances. We have Titan who had a cheater on their team. They are now back and ready to show themselves as one of the top teams. But yeah, just, just a completely rocky history here between these two teams. A rocky history for Titan itself. Existence is still going strong. Looks like T's are going to be pushing into bombsite A. Maniac picks off two players as they try to enter the site, so that is a definitely a failed attempt there at taking the bombsite. Here they go now moving in. Freiburg in the critical position. Takes out Kenny S. Yes. We still have a player inside of the pit there, but he goes down. CTs rotate to retake it. So those two pickups there allow T's to get into the site. Bomb is not yet planted. Allows CTs a bunch of time here to set up for the retake. They're going to be coming in at three different angles. So let's see what kind of uh, intel they have right now. So they know where Freiburg is. And they know where Exist is. They're, you have to assume that the other player is inside of the pit. They know where all three are. They are now starting to move in from all sides. Here's Existence. Just Forrest left inside of the pit. And RPK takes the final kill and will pick off Forrest. There's the defuse and Titan picks up that pistol round despite losing two players there. Allowing Ninjas in Pajamas to take the site during a 5 versus 3. Still able to win it in the end and that is a significant pistol round. Now we have to consider Ninjas in Pajamas rarely wins the first pistol round. I don't know why that is. They are so slow out of the gate but they're sort of a momentum based team. Once they get that momentum, they are unstoppable. And that goes for individual players like Michael Lele himself. All right. T's peeking down middle right now. We see some... Oh, look at this. They actually get Kenny S to get the pick at alternate middle. That was actually really nice. In the meantime, though, T's have been able to take control inside of the apartments here. Maniac going to be jumping down into pit. Seems like they think the T's are about to push here. That was actually a really risky pick position because you got to assume that some of these players are going to be pushing up middle. Kenny S trying to spray him down through the wall. Here is Maniac inside of the pit waiting for these players to push in. Apex in a great position. Whoa, Michael Lele with some juking is able to take him down. Maniac still inside of the pit. Get right charges forward, but he gets taken down by RPK. That's a three frag for Kenny S on that round. And Titan picks up the easy pickup on the second round. Because of that bomb plant by Ninjas in Pajamas, um, they are able to buy now on the third round, so that's why you saw them full saving on that second round. So if you're a little bit new to Counter-Strike, you may be wondering, why are they buying third round? Why didn't they buy anything uh, second round? It's just a basic economy game. If the terrorists are able to get the bomb planted on the first or second round without buying anything, you're able to get a third round buy. Nice pickup by Freiburg. That's a trade, though, with Apex. A trade is going to favor T's, and because that trade happened over on the A side, it looks like Titan might actually have to rotate both of these players back. At least that would be the right decision. And yes, they are. They've got the smoke down at the bottom of Banana. They've got one smoke, or two smokes left here. They'll be able to resmoke it for as long as they'd like. T's taking their time. They know that they have an advantage now. They just kind of have to figure out where Titan has rotated. So... B push is probably the right call right now. Actually, it looks like they're going to be pushing at bomb site. A, Kenny S playing inside of the site. And we have RPK inside of uh, of the library here. Let's see. Michael Lele is going to be entry fragger here. Oh, they're going to smoke it off. They're probably doing a mid to B. Yeah, very cool. RPK knows what's up. He gets into position here. Waiting for them to go into archway. Bomb dropped at bottom of banana. 40 seconds left. Ninjas and pajamas has to make their move fairly soon here. And are they going to do this split or are they going to take A? They can really go anywhere at this point. Titan rotates RPK over into bombsite B. This opens it up for a bombsite A take, but Maniac is able to get the pick there. T's now pushing it to the site. Looks like they have committed to this A take. Just Kenny S left between them and a bomb plant. Nice pick up by Kenny S. He's preventing the bomb from going down in the standard plant position. Michael Ailey now the solo player left. Kenny S valiantly goes down. That's a two for one sale. And that puts it into a one versus two with Michael Lele. And he's going to just survive. Timer runs out. Ninjas in pajamas waited too long. All they had to do was pick up that player inside of the pit. They would have been able to get a bomb plant and probably win that round. So definitely a nice job by Kenny S. Now, Kenny S is a player who is a very... Uh, 
consistent player and at the same time very well-rounded. He is the opper here for Titan, but at the same time, as you saw, he could use a, a rifle just as well. Actually, a really good AK-47 player. This is definitely a guy you want to have on your team. Alright, T's going to be pushing that banana here. The smoke is not down at the bottom. Existence in a peaky weeky little position here. Molotov preventing a push. Looks like he's going to fall back into the site. Give position of banana to ninjas in pajamas. So now they have this little staging area here where they could launch an attack in. Smoke off these positions. I'm actually interested to see where ninjas in pajamas is going to smoke. We see CTs are inside of the site. I think T's are just going to push into the bomb site here. Existence in a forward position. And again, I really do want to see these smokes to see what Ninjas and Pajamas is playing. Existence standing in the front of the smoke right there. Molotov standard position. Standard smokes. They're moving in. Oh my goodness. Looks like Titan is able to mow them down. Trading into the site. Just two players left. Not enough time to... Oh, they are going to get that bomb planted. Nice. That smoke actually disallows Get Right from getting that pick. Apex trying to spray these players at the oranges through that smoke. Had his crosshair on Forest, wasn't able to get that final kill. Titan waiting for the smokes to clear before they finally push in. It's going to be a difficult bomb site take. And they're going to have to just go, go, go once it clears. Nice pickup by Forest. Here's Kenny S trying to pick it. Takes out Forest. Just get right left. One versus two. Picks up Maniac. One versus one now. Not enough time to defuse. Tight. Kenny S takes it. He's just going to try to run away and save that op. A nice pickup by Kenny S. Good kills, but just not enough time. Good smokes by Ninjas and Pajamas. That second smoke at construction, I think, is what won that round there for Ninjas and Pajamas because it delayed Titan from moving in just long enough. And though Titan was able to pick up the kills, the timer did go to the Ninjas and Pajamas. And that's why Inferno is a difficult map, much more so inside of uh, competitive games or professional games like this than matchmaking because we have a 35 second bomb timer in these instead of a 45 second and statistics show that retakes are generally ignored or, or not even attempted on this map more often than any other map in the game and even more so in professional level meaning that it's difficult to retake the bomb site and defuse it the timings are, are make it really hard to accomplish that so it's like if T's get the bomb planted they have a good chance of winning the round all right, T's positioning themselves all over the map, creeping about. They have banana control. Where will they eventually decide to go? Maniac inside of the apartments right now. We have a force buy by Titan. They were able to save this op on Kenny S here. No armor, even though we have Galils on the field. These Galils will be one-hit headshots now because of that. Looks like we're going to have another one of these bombsite B uh, pushes here. Oh, look at that boost by RPK up on top. And he should be able to pick Michael Lele, but Michael Lele takes him down with the AK-47. T's pushing into the site. Look at this. Freiburg runs out forward position. Exist and Freiburg take the position. And let's get on Get Right here, who's holding off the players inside of CT to allow that bomb plant. Get Right engages. This is a player who loves to spray that gun and move around. And that is definitely what he excels at. But some nice CZ tap shooting by Apex to take out Get Right. They're going to try and save these weapons. Apex grabs the AWP off of Kenny S's cold, dead hands. And we'll be trying to save that thing. Maniac with armor and a CZ. And it's worth it just to save this armor. But I think his goal here is to go for some exit frags. If he's able to kill a player, he'll be able to pick up the AK off of their dead body and escape. Freiburg could be able to pick him down middle, though. And there's Michael Lele. Maniac should run in right now. There he goes. Let's see if he gets that AK. Not a lot of time. Oh, he waits too long. Doesn't get the AK, but he picks up the kill. That's going to help in the economy game. And Titan just lost another point. All right. We see some friendly banter there between the teammates. Kenny S going to be playing the JW position here. Let's see if he can get the pick. I know Kenny S sort of is this kind of an opera and invented it, but we know JW for these kinds of peaks. Looking like Titan has taken aggressive control of apartments right now. Gets the peak, should fall back. Love it. Apex shows himself. Should probably fall back as well, since they know that there's players there. In the meantime, T's have been able to creep their way up apartments. We have no smokes for Titan. This is a save round for them. Two players buying armor. If they're able to make this work, I mean, my goodness. Oh, nice pickups by Freiburg. Those are the entry frags we need to see there. Forrest goes down as a lurk and gives that AK over to Apex. Goodness. 
Again, going to be a difficult retake here. The smokes are down. Players don't have a lot. Oh, look at this spot by Kenny S. Trying to pick up um, Freiburg there. And I think Titan's just going to save it and go for exit frags at this point. That'll give it a 3-3 there. All tied up. Inferno is a, a pretty even map. It's slightly CT-sided. But even enough. Maniac pushing in. What the heck was that all about? Not sure why he pushed in at that point. I mean, the goal of that should be just to hold these players in there long enough for that bomb to go off and kill them as they try to exit, which is what Apex is going to try to do right here. But these two last players exist in Michaelele. Michaelele goes out front, gets taken down, exists, able to survive and pick off Apex. Now Titan, because of that save round, able to buy here anyway. They were just trying to do some economic damage there to the ninjas in pajamas, and it looks like it succeeded. And we check out the economy of Ninjas and Pajamas. They have spent all their money on this round, and I think if they lose it, they might have to save. Titan's playing a really good economy game. Well, look at this stack. They're actually really slow to get over here to A. Three players at Banana right now. We saw them aggressively trying to take apartments control. They finally got the pick. Now they're not even worrying about apartments anymore. By throwing the smoke at the bottom there, they're going to be able to secure Banana with just one player. And it looks like Existence is the player they're going to leave here. Not sure. Yeah, they're going to be rotating back right now. Existence should play the bottom of Banana. Oh, he's peeking. Okay, that's really cool. He was peeking that spot that you boost a player up to see over the top. And just pre-shooting it. Alright, they've rotated the players back. RPK in a position where you can rotate anywhere. He's going to throw the re-smoke for the bottom of Banana. That's a nice little throwing re-smoke right there. Perfect! Immaculate in its positioning. Alright, Forrest going to be entry fragging. Tried to do a pre-shot on Kenny S, but was way off on that. A little bit sloppy there. Yeah, Ninjas in Pajamas still doesn't feel like they've picked up the steam that they really need to win this. Forrest flashing up middle. And Kenny S finally gets the pick. Forrest thought that his pre-shooting was going to dissuade that player from peeking him there. Kenny S holds the angle in a duck. All right, Existence, the lone player here. Taking a bunch of flashes as the T's move in. Freiburg goes down. Existence goes down. We actually have a rotate player there. Kenny S inside of the site. Bunny hops his way to safety. Smokes are down, and this is a position where Ninjas in Pajamas has, historically, in the terms of this game, been successful. But the smoke's clear. The T's move in. Apex gets the entry frags, and there is the defuse. Nice two-kill pickup there from Apex to win this round. That's going to give Titan the lead. 4-3 now. They've got the money. They've broken the economy of the ninjas in pajamas. And ninjas in pajamas is going to be forced to save. So let's check out the anti-eco setup here from Titan. They have to assume that ninjas in pajamas does not have money. Oh, and ninjas in pajamas bought up for one player exist. That could be a surprise. Okay, assuming it might be like a pistol push at bombsite B, which it kind of is. Kenny has picking down middle right now. Not going to see anything. And pre-nade's going down. That was a good pre-nade by RPK. Did some damage to Michael Lele and Exist. T's continuing to try to push up here. Exist, the lone player with a weapon right now. Uh, he's got like a stop sign as his avatar. That's interesting. I guess it's supposed to be like a diamond with a top cut off or something there, but... Yeah, it looks like a stop sign to me. Actually, stop signs are... Oh, no, that's an octagon. That's an octagon. That's a stop sign there in the United States. All right, T's getting ready to push into the site right now. Speaking of which, I love the the style of Titan's avatars. Just look at that. The faded blue tint, looking all professional-like. And wow, ninjas in pajamas on a pistol round, able to entry frag thanks to Freiburg. Apex gets in here real quickly, tries to complete the spray. Not going to happen. It's difficult to get spray downs in, in this game as opposed to previous Counter-Strikes. Puts it into a nothing versus nothing as Maniac. Mows down the rest of them, and there's a win for Titan. It was an expected win, but now Ninjas in Pajamas doing some economic damage, picking off three players and getting a bomb plant, giving themselves some economy. They will be able to buy next round. So this, this match has so far been pretty close. It looks like Titan is starting to pick up some steam, though. They've got enough money where if they lose this round, they'll be able to buy next round as well. Um, well, there they go. Yeah, and they're able to buy fully. Look at that. Look at how expensive this buy is right here. We got, uh, oh, we couldn't draw there for a second. Look at this. All five of these players have Molotovs right now. They call it Inferno for a reason. 
Well, actually, they called it Inferno before the Molotovs existed, but... It sort of fell into that name. Kenny S trying to peek at middle with that off. Not gonna happen. T's being very passive this round. Exist not able to purchase an AK-47. He bought last round and now is not able to buy this round. I guess if a T goes down, he's able to pick up the gun. Nice, Nade! RPK doesn't even move, though. Look at Exist up front. Oh my gosh, Exist actually takes it. Takes both of them with the pistol. Gonna be pushing into the side right now. We see a rotate. Get right playing Lurk like he always does over there inside of apartments. Apex gonna try to prevent the push. Good spray control, but it is just not enough. Get right still lurking about. Apex is gonna have to make something happen here. T's take the site. Five versus three, and oh, burn the witch. Apex goes down. Should be a save right now. Our lurk player hunting down Maniac. And Maniac doesn't seem to be aware of it. Here's this player. And we know Ninjas in Pajamas is now gonna try to do some economic damage. And they really need it. Nice! That was an excellent shot by Get Right on a moving opponent right there. Maniac sneaks up behind him, though, and Get Lurked. All right, one player should try to save. Jumping into the pit, Death Cam on Get Right will give him intel about where Maniac is, and we see the T's move in from all sides right now. Picks up this off to try to save, but I don't think he's going to be able to survive here. We have the Flying Forest jumping over the side, and that's a Fort Frag for Exist. I tell you what, folks, let's get ourselves a fancy um, uh, owl vision here on Exist. What a guy, what a guy. It looks like Titan now, because of that and because those players got picked, we'll have to save. Oh, look at their money. Oh, whoa, whoa, what, 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 what? Titan! You can't be serious. They're doing a force buy. If they were able to save uh, two of those players in that last round, they'd be able to have a good buy this round, but this is a bad buy. I'm really worried here for our Titan. Ninjas in pajamas looking like they're going to gain some momentum here. Still, it's been a back-and-forth game thus far. We have a three-player stack up inside of B, and I think if Titan decides to push into bombsite B, it's going to be a complete trap here. Oh, look at this. They're rotating the players back. Looking like they're going to push into the site, probably do the uh, standard smoke-off that we've seen. Molotov right here. Uh, they got one Molotov on Forest, and then they'll flash here and flash over the side and push into the site. And we'll wait for that to happen right now. Okay, that's an interesting nade. I like that. Did some damage, too. Look at this smoke. Making it look like they're going A, I guess, in the last digit. Oh, they're going to rotate back, so they're not going to push into B. Well, if they get that pick, they will. Existence gets low. Six health left right now. If he throws a uh, nade right there, it'll be good. T's have moved back to over here. Kenny S does not have an off. He's just gotten an itty bit little P. 250. And Exist should be able to pick it up. Oh, wow, look at that movement control by Kenny S as he runs away. Exist finally able to get the kill. Loses a teammate in the process. Freiburg jumps up and picks out Maniac, though. There's the defuse. Apex moving in for the retake. Doesn't know about Get Right. Killing players from behind since 2000. And wherever you started, I guess. I don't know when his career started. I was going to say 2012 because that's the start of CSGO. Well, this is a player who's been around for a long time. Hasn't been the number one dominant, look at me, I'm get right player for that long, though. That started about 2012. All right. CT's trying to save once again, and because it's such a close game, it makes sense to try to do some economic damage. Bomb will go off. Ninjas in pajamas putting it at 5-5. Five to five. That's actually going to put them in the lead here. Ooh, sees that player just barely. Well, allows him to live. And Titan... With a force buy on that last round, loses it. Saves two players. Should probably full save this round so they're able to buy next. Yeah, they're looking pretty low on the money. Getting absolutely starved right now. Continuing with this three-player attempt at securing banana control. Uh, where is our king of banana? Here comes Freiburg. Just watch his entry fragging right here. Just look at his uh, crosshair positioning. Could be a player still there. Oh. Flicks it. Oh, he's going to be moving in. 
We got a player up in MBK's little perch there. That's existence. Oh, gets taken down. King of the King of the Banana has been dethroned. Technically, that was B-Sight, so that didn't count. Wow, and Existence with another entry. Or another kill there. That's three. He just mowed down a full buying ninjas in pajamas as they try to move up Banana into the site. Puts it into a two versus two. These guys got to save right now. They really have no chance of winning this. Two versus five? I don't think so. Forrest is going to try to get that bomb. Probably rotate back and take A. Get right trying to secure A solo right now. It's a one versus two in the site. That's a doable situation. Grabs the bomb and falls back. Get right needs to find these players to pick him. Finds Kenny S and takes him down. Forrest should fall back right now. 35 seconds. And we see Maniac sneaking up on Get right. He hears him go down middle. Catches him off guard. And now it's just Forrest left in a one versus four. Tries, I guess, the last ditch ever to push up Banana. I don't think it's going to happen, though. 20 seconds. Yeah. One player at dark. Or actually at the pillar there. And Existence ends it with a four frag. Nice work. All right, that's Titan at six. Ninjas in pajamas at five. Titan. Again with the back and forth. So now we're back. It was fourth for a few seconds there, but now we're back. Titan's on top. And it's kind of even right here. Both teams able to buy a 6-5 uh, scenario in the scores. This looks like it's going to be a great game. Titan is back. Now, the reason I'm watching a lot of these uh, matches and doing a lot of cast is uh, leading up to Katowice which could prove to be a great final. Okay, so that's actually a wall bank position where you see Forest. I don't know if you can consider that an exploit or not. I considered it for an uh, episode of Exploit Hunters and decided against it. Uh, you, sh you do it from inside here and you shoot through this wall right here and you can hit, you can actually hit car. You see where those rounds were going. He was a little bit off. Oh, Freiburg with the entry, there he goes. RPK still up. Moves over to Sandbags. Get right playing Lurk over at Bombsite. If you see Get right at A, it means they're taking B. And there's the trade. No, it's not the trade. Two for one. Well, that's not good. Puts it into a two versus two right now. Is this going to fall back and they will attempt to take Bombsite A? Here is Get right with his Recoil Master. I recoil at the name of that AK. Apex gets picked up by... Or Apex picks off, exist. One versus one now, 24 seconds, and get right gets destroyed. Apex is a, is a nice shot. That's all I have to say about that. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas doing a force buy here. We have two tech nines, very weak buy. And we saw Titan doing a, a, a similar buy earlier on. It did not work out for them. Ninjas in Pajamas has got a little more than they had, though. This is kind of a standard thing to do. Oh, Apex picks another player off at Banana. And T's trying to work on apartment control right now. Look at the crossfire we have here. Gonna be a difficult push. Get right, gonna peek it. And, well, when you duck like that, and you try and slowly peek around the corner at a position where you're visible before you see them, it's just not a good position, Get right. I didn't really know what he was uh, expecting to, to have happen there. And exists showing how you peek a corner. Kenny S watching down middle with two players picked. There's really not much they can do at this point. Could try to save. Whoa! The pre-shots. Kenny S got shot in like the foot through the wall there. Are they going to push or are they not? 45 seconds. And it looks like they're going to try for a B take. They don't, I mean, where is Forrest right now? They don't have a lot of time. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try for a B take. they got to pick off these two players who are well entrenched into bombsite B. Know that they don't really have to do a fast rotate. Wow, this is going to be hard to take. we got a player at new box and a player at, at dark here. In the cubby in the back of the site. Look at these positionings. This is going to be a tough take. T's moving in. Existence picks off a player. There's RPK in position. Nice kill. And gets the final one. His exist misses his spray control. Titan now at 8-5. to five. And a very nice round. Able to win that thanks to two early picks. Ninjas in pajamas said, all right, well, let's just go for it. They're going to save for last here. So they're able to buy up on the final round of this half. Titan now leads it. Goodbye, Nade. 
He would rather have a, a Molotov instead of that hand grenade. Understandable. They've got enough money to buy for the rest of this. Apex, again with that pick, and it works again. Stayed here a little bit long and will get punished for that, leaving Kenny S exposed as well. However, Kenny S's Molotov kills a player, burn the witch. Oh, well, there's a Molotov to prevent Get Right from hunting him down, but Get Right does not care. Get Right jumps into the fire and dies in order to get that kill. I guess it was worth it. Um, actually, it wasn't, because now it puts Michael Ailey into a two versus one. Poor guy. This is a difficult situation. One minute left. Plenty of time to go anywhere he wants. Bomb is down. Two players on Ninjas in Pajamas burned to death on that round. Showing the strength of that Molotov. Maybe played that a little bit too aggressively. Now... Michael Ailey's got a few decisions here. Go to B or go to A. Obviously the right call is B, but he doesn't have that intel. He's got an AWP. May want to try to find an AK. There's one right behind him there. No, he's going to go for it with this AK, or with this AWP. He is a dedicated AWP player, but in a one versus two situation, you have to assume you're going to engage one versus two. And when that happens, you need to be able to shoot quicker. Uh, he's going to use the AWP. One player inside a pit, that's Existence, forcing him out with the Molotov, forced to jump over, and will go down. Very smart play from Existence. Alright, Titan. Setting themselves up here to win the final round. And yes. Goodbye, Nade. Michael Lele's got an op, though. Ninjas in Pajamas got some money. Able to win this up. 9-6 put themselves in a winnable position. But again, it looks like Titan is ahead. Continuing with this B-side strat of let's put three players here. Throw the smoke at the bottom. Leave one player and rotate uh, two back. It's a nice standard A setup. I like it. And it seems to be working out pretty well for Titan. They're able to hold off uh, Inferno pretty well. They're keeping two players at B this time. Oh, delaying the smoke. So I think they're delaying the smoke as long as possible. They're going to be able to re-smoke that and force Ninjas and Pajamas into a push now. I think uh, right now the decision for Ninjas and Pajamas is because, okay, so they've delayed that smoke so long, let's just try an A take. And it looks like that's what they're going to try to do here. Because there's no smokes at middle right now. There's nothing preventing them from moving in here. And we see two players now rotating back from Bombsite B on the CT side. As the T's push forward here, let's see if they can get this entry. Here comes Freiburg charging forward. Lost two players. Doesn't care about that bomb. He's got to go back and get it now. RPK sneaks through the smoke. Puts it into a one versus two. Forrest has got a four frag to win this thing. 27 seconds. He's going to have to move quickly here. One player instead of library. That is existence. This is final round. He's got to go for it. No reason to save. No reason to live. Existence rotates back to B. They didn't know they had bomb down. And Maniac takes him down. Nice positioning, and that's going to be the half right now. Titan at 10. Ninjas in Pajamas at 5. Titan leads it, but there is still an opportunity for a comeback. Uh, get right, calls GG, and escapes. Nope, no, they're just going to wait for the uh, for the second half to commence, and we shall return. Get right has returned, and the second half is commencing right now. Here we go into the pistol round. Ninjas in Pajamas kind of really needs this pistol round here. If not the pistol round, then the armor pistol second round. So they're going to play an uphill battle right now. And we have to keep in mind, Ninjas in Pajamas is definitely the favored team. Existence, going back to his old tactics, just going to be rushing full on into Bombsite B. Oh, the pick, Apex. My goodness. A critical pick. Titan will get the bomb planted. And I don't even know. Ninjas in Pajamas. Bomb has been planted. With that very aggressive push by Titan, reminiscent of how Existence... Used to call in ye olden days. Back when it was very games. Gonna be a retake to end all retakes here if they can make it happen. Apex is just too good. I think that's what's going on here. He's too good. Two versus two now for the retake. Get right wielding the Swedish dualies as he runs into the site to try to end these players. Take them down with him and have that bomb go off, but I don't think it is. RPK will live. That's an important, important win for Titan. They just won both pistol rounds. They are ahead. Ninjas and Pajamas, the favored team, in some trouble here. They got to play comeback. They have to win this armor pistol, really. Otherwise, momentum will overcome them, and Titan will set themselves up for the win. 
All right, they're playing it slow. Uh, notice they actually purchased a submachine gun here on Maniac. Gives them 300 extra buy money. Look how light this buy is from Titan. This is very light. They're using Tech 9s instead of buying a, uh, a Galil or something. But they've got some extra money in the bank. Uh, puzzling. I'm, I'm wondering, I'm, I'm really interested to see how this plays out. Because what this does is it makes the second round fairly even in terms of guns. Because they know Ninjas in Pajamas has to armor pistol on this round. They're kind of putting themselves in even footing with them. Alright, they're going to try for a B take here. But again, what does saving that extra money give them? Not purchasing up those crazy guns. This is very interesting. Alright. Waiting for this smoke to commence here from Kenny S. It is going to block off the grill. That will allow them a bomb plant. We have three CTs in the site, though. T's are a little bit lost. Oh, they actually smoked off the site so they could get to, to CT. But that just put them in a real strange position. I don't know if that's going to work out. Oh, well, it seems to be working out. T's now pushing into the site. Kenny has not even checking first oranges. Who cares about first oranges? Get right misses it. Now puts it into a two versus two. They're very low. Just RPK left. One versus one against Michael Ailey, who's moving in here with a deagle. Bomb has not been planted. Four seconds left. And it looks like Ninjas in Pajamas will take this round. Well, they're able to steal back that second round. Titan with an interesting strategy of smoking off the site, not buying a lot. Moving in here, we had a smoke go down here. I'm not sure if that was their smoke or not, because it, it, what does it give them? It gives them the ability to move into the back of B. Blocks off the middle of the site right here, and they got into a kind of a crazy position where they were just stuck, like fish in a barrel. Seems like ninjas in pajamas sort of knew what was going on. They saw those smokes coming in and said, I know what they're doing. They're trying to smoke off, move up, and go around into B. So let's just destroy that. I'll throw a smoke right here, trap them, and uh, what are they going to do? And because of that, uh, Ninjas in Pajamas takes it back. However, Titan will be buying up here on this round. Kenny S not buying armor. This is very puzzling buys. Puzzling buys from Titan. If they were to buy on this round, I'm surprised Kenny S not buys uh, fully. So, weird strategy. We saw them play a really nice economic game on the first half. So I have faith that they know what they're doing. Most definitely, existence. Guy who's been around forever, knows what he's doing. An innovator. He's definitely an innovator. We might be looking at some innovation here as they get ready for Katowice. Might be trying some stuff out. T's try to push into the site. Michael Lely finds himself to the graveyard. Crazy position. Pulls out the Deagle. Just going to be a two versus three right now. Just Kenny S left. And again, getting trapped. Nice pickup by Kenny S. 25 seconds left, not a lot of time. He's got to be aggressive. Does he see Get Right's head right there? Yes, he does. And he picks it. One versus one right now. 18 seconds left. Freiburg versus Kenny S. And Freiburg catches him off guard from the side, and there is a win from the Ninjas in Pajamas. That could have gone either way. Very close round. But because of that two round and a win, or two round and row win, Titan will have to save here. And they will. So that allows Ninjas in Pajamas a chance to come back into this game. They've got the momentum. They've got to put up the walls of defense here and do what they do best and delay their opponents with smoke until they're eventually forced to charge into Hellfire. Of course, this is an anti-eco, and we notice Ninjas in Pajamas is playing noticeably less aggressive on these anti-ecos. They're playing very safe. Sometimes we used to see with anti-ecos, CTs would just like run down middle, uh, throw a smoke here, could even go alternate like this, smoke off this position and just take this whole area right here. But it seems like they're playing it very safe this time, allowing T's to take both banana control and apartments control. So that's the staging area for an A take and a B take. They're allowing T's to do whatever they want right now. So what will Titan do? They have free reign of the map, Full control. They know Ninjas in Pajamas is set up standard. What are they going to do? It's going to be a B take. All right, let's see how this works out here. We turn off our X-ray as Freiburg gears up to hold off a push. We got one smoke on Kenny S. It should land right where Freiburg is standing. Oh, no, they're not throwing it. They're going to use it for the retake, I guess. Nice entry by Maniac. Get right goes down. They get both of the entry kills. Michael Lilly trying to make something happen. Get right mows down two players before going down himself. Leaves it uh, to a possible retake now. 
Uh, keep in mind, this is a save round here. Michael Lele goes down to RPK. Timer going down. They got a player at new box right there. That is Maniac. Oh, they don't really have time to retake it. Oh, they're waiting too long. Nice pick up. One player left at the new box. We have kits up on both players. One versus one. Not enough time to defuse. Forrest has got to get out of here. He's not going to survive. He's not going to escape with his life. Oh, he's red up to his neck. And what a... Oh! That smarts. Explodes. Flies. Smashes his head on the steps. He is so dead. Well, there's a win for Titan. An eco win. They just stole back this game. Ninjas in pajamas allowing that to happen have to be shaking their heads right now. And they're the ones forced into an eco right now. I guess they have a smoke here on Get Right just to keep up appearances. To say like, yeah, yeah, we got stuff. Don't worry. We, we can smoke off uh, Banana. You can't just like walk in here and kill the rest of us. I'm waiting for that smoke to go down right now. My Get Right. There it is. See, they're like, yeah, we still got stuff. Don't worry. We got money. We're not completely and utterly broke. Get right, gonna resmoke that as well. Titan really could just, like, go either way and win. Right now. And it looks like they're gonna be taking Bombsite A. However, there are four players here waiting for them. Kenny S. Peeking with the op. Takes off Michael Lele. It's a nice pickup. Gonna go look at Arch now. Next spot. There is a player right there. That's Get Right. Sees the flash. Knows to pick it. You can see how a flash can give away your position at times. Oh, Exist tries a forward position pick. Trades it with Forrest, but this is not a situation where you want to trade. Nice pickups. Forrest actually has bomb control right now with 35 seconds left. And he's got a player at mid coming at him. I'm going to throw the smoke down on the bomb. Maniac in a forward position. Maniac's been getting a lot of critical uh, kills right now. I think this is a player who a lot of people don't don't really have a lot of, of faith in. And look, right now, he's kind of top scoring. He's not top fragging, but top scoring right now for Titan. Doing a great job. Showing himself to be a great addition to Team Titan right now. RPK as well. You know, LDLC, of course, the number one French team right now. Titan used to be. We've seen a huge shakeup in the French scene, especially with those hackers. Now we have this this new Titan. And they seem to be doing pretty well. They're beating the ninjas in pajamas. Freiburg are going to save right now. That bomb will definitely go off. And they still have the brain right here. The brain of existence at work. All right. Titan at 13 points. Ninjas in pajamas at 7. Nip will be able to buy up this round. We've got enough money. We've got five smokes apiece. They can win this one. All right, T's right out of the gate. Moving up to work on banana control. See the smoke? This is standard. So ninjas and pajamas nearly every round. This is their standard. They put the smoke down here, and then Freiburg plays from here. Let's see if he goes back into his position. Whoa, they know. <laughs> their goal was there was to burn the Freiburg. I love that. Titan has definitely been studying the ninjas and pajamas' current strategy. To know to throw those Molotovs like that. I just love when I see stuff like that. You see a team who knows exactly what's going on. And they've taken Banana. They've lost a player in the process, though. That is not good. Two-player at Arch right now. Beacon at middle. And another smoke going down. Ninjas in Pajamas is really great at knowing when to smoke and where to smoke to delay their opponent as long as possible. To me, that is the strength of Ninjas in Pajamas. That's why they were so dominant early on. It's all in the smokes. RPK charges up middle solo. Exist is probably going to shoot him. And he's dead. Get right, flashing himself out. He's going to push through the smoke to prevent this bombsite B take. Well, it's not going to happen. Looks like they will get the side. Michael Lele throwing down some rounds through the smoke to prevent it. T's have good control here. Kenny, yes. Notice how he's not shooting through the smoke right now. Waits for it to clear. Two players instead of construction right now. All of the T's in the back here. Nobody in a forward position. CT's trying to move in. Nice pickup by Kenny, yes. 
two versus one right now, and Forest gets picked by Apex. Notice they had a position to trade there. So if Apex went down, Existence surely would have picked up that kill. Titan now puts themselves at 14 points. Ninjas in pajamas at seven. They're getting destroyed right now. Another reason I'm showing this match is because I want to sort of get an idea of Titan and how this lineup's working uh, before Katowice. So we have an idea of how they play. What? 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 Triple Nova? I don't believe it. Now, shotguns are, are good on Inferno. This is a map where shotguns are going to be useful in nearly every position. But Triple Nova? Oh my goodness. Let's see how this works out for him. It's a bold play. Let's see if it works out. <laughs> they have to get headshots to get kills with these things. Here's Michael Lele taking on Apex here right around the corner. And gets picked immediately. Exist moves in to try to hold this off as well. And gets picked immediately. Get right. Lands two shots. Well, he's dead. I guess the, it was a nice idea. It wasn't a nice idea. It didn't work. It failed. It failed, it failed miserably. Like, that could have been it right there. Ninjas in pajamas? That was like a Hail Mary. Like, let's make something crazy work, and then there'll be frag movies about it. Let's buy three Novas. Not gonna happen. Now we got the Mag-7 up. On Exist, more Novas on the field. Again, it's a good weapon to use on Inferno. Oh, there we go. More shotguns. I love shotguns on Inferno. Very strong. Now it's looking a little more reasonable here, with two... Mag 7s and a Nova. That makes more sense to me. All right. T's working here. They're going to do the Molotovs again. I love it. They're like, we figured out. We know what works against the, uh, the ninjas in pajamas. Smart guys. Smart guys. It is match point right now. They're going to try to push into bombsite B, or are they going to fall back? They go either way. Could fake it. Try to get a rotate to happen there. We got players at middle watching it. Yeah, it looks like they're going to commence with this bombsite B tank. Another defensive smoke going down. They've got one more left up on Freiburg. You can throw that thing down at B whenever he wants. One minute left. Titan, all they gotta do is wait. And as soon as this smoke clears at B, they should probably push it. Look at Michael Lele with the Nova close up. Will get a kill and fall back. And taking on an offer with that Nova. Well, we've got a pick now. Ninjas in Pajamas has a chance. They have no smokes left. The smoke clears. Maniac is going to be lurking here. His job is just to make it look like they're taking bombsite B. And they are not. Nip still has two players at B. Whoa! Almost. Not going to happen. And they get mowed down completely by this crazy buy by Ninjas in Pajamas. With the shotgun kills. With grabbing those weapons. They are back in this thing. And Ninjas in Pajamas now has to win every round for the rest of this. Was that like seven points in a row right now? Eight, including the one they just got. If they want to stay in this game, push it into an overtime. It's going to be rough. It's going to be difficult. But that was a crazy round. There's a pick by Kenny S already. Dead Michael Lele is the worst kind of Michael Lele. All right, they're switching up how they play Banana now. Smoking at the bottom. A good team has to be able to change up their strategy on the fly based on what's going on. And they know, like, okay, our standard uh, banana hold-off strat is just not working. We gotta try something else here, guys. So they're playing it a little bit more... They're playing, like, what Titan was doing when they were playing CT. Where they leave one player at the bottom of banana so that they can rotate at banana if they try to push at any moment. It looks like Titan's just gonna try an A-take. One Valiant A-take coming right up. Oh, look at this. Exist gonna peek it. Oh, he catches the players throwing smokes. That was such an opportunity. Forrest waiting for him to peek here. Gets taken down. RPK moving down. Got a player in graveyard right now. Doesn't know about it because of the smoke. Clears the pit. We got players in the smoke moving past each other. Get right sneaks through. Eventually does get taken down. Freiburg, it's not going to happen. One player left. That does exist. One versus three. Tries to prevent the bomb plant. It's not going to happen. And there is the game. Titan takes it. 16 to 8, and good thing it was that, you know, we just got to the end right there. My phone went off at the last second, so it didn't ruin the cast. Thank you, folks, very much for watching. I am the War Island. I still have no closer.
coming to a theater near you. One man, one fork, fork man.